Hello, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to study how to find mean, standard deviation, and variance for the group data. So, in the group data, we have the class interval and we have the corresponding frequency. So, to find the mean, variance, standard deviation for the group data, what we have to do? We know that the formula for mean for the group data is f1x1 plus f2x2 plus fnxn, where x1, x2, xn are the mid value of the class interval. So how to find the mid value uh, in case of mid value, what we do, we just add the upper limit and lower limit of the class and divided it by two. Okay. So I write here, we have the class in this uh, column A and we have the frequency in column B. So I write here frequency as F, which is the frequency as F. Okay. Now <clears throat> we have the lower, uh, lower limit. Okay, we have the lower limit. So we write lower limit 10, 14, 18, 22, 26, up to 54. These are the lower limit of the class. And we have the upper limit. So 14, 18, 22, 26, 54, 58. These are the upper limit of the class. Okay, so first to find the mean, what we need, we need mid value in case of group data. Okay, here we have group data. So first we find mid value. Okay, so how to find mid value? What we do, we add this two value, lower limit and upper limit, that is column C plus column D and divided it by two. So what we do, I just add this C2 plus D2 and divided it by two. So I will get the first mid value as 12, that is 10 plus 14, that is 24 divided by two, which is 12. I just drag this formula from here, from this point. So, I will get mid value for all the classes. These are the mid value. Okay. Now to find the mean, we need F into X, submission of F into X. So in the next column, that is column F, what we do, we find F into X. Okay. That is what we do. We multiply this column B frequency column with the column E, which is the midpoint column. Okay. We multiply this column, column B and column E. And we multiply corresponding value. So what we do here, I write, column B to B2 cell multiplied by corresponding cell in the E column, which is the midpoint is E2. Okay. And press enter. So what we get 2 into 12, 24. I just copy this formula. I drag this formula to the cell F13. Okay. So I will get all the multiplication of F into X. Okay. I will get all the multiplication of F into X. Now what we, uh, what I do here, I find some of this total, okay, fi xi submission, okay, so I find some of this total, so I use the sum function, just write equals to and write sum, and select the cell f2 and press control shift down arrow key for the entire selection from f2 to f13 and just press enter, you will get 2680, okay, now you have to find mean, so to find the mean, what formula I'm going to use, I use this formula, which is written in the blue part. Okay, submission fx divided by submission f. So I have submission fx total 2680. And I have the total of frequency, which is in column B total, which is 80. Okay, so what we do, I just divide 2680 by 80. So I write this cell here, 2680 divided by this term 80 and just press enter. So I get mean as 33.5. This is our mean. Okay. I get mean as 33.5, which is our mean. So how we find mean here? Now, next I find variance. So, and standard deviation. So the formula uh, which is written here is the formula for standard deviation. And we know that when we square the standard deviation, we get the variance. If I square this term, which is sigma square, so this root term got cancelled. If I square both the term, so this is the formula for our variance. So first we find variance and after that we find a square root of variance and we will get the standard deviation easy. So now uh, what I find here, now I find x minus x bar. Okay, uh, first we find x minus x bar, then x minus x bar whole is square. And then we multiply x minus x bar whole square by fi. And we take submission of that. Okay. So in this column G, uh, what I write, I write x, I write x minus 
x bar okay that is x minus x bar that is mean okay so uh, uh, what i write here i write equals to x is midpoint which is 12 minus x bar x bar is our mean which is 33.5 okay now uh, in all this cell g in all the cell of column g i have to minus x bar okay so what i do i just fix this cell b uh, b70 by using the dollar sign so i just fixed this cell using the dollar sign and just press enter so the first difference uh, that is x minus x bar i got as minus 21.5 that is 12 minus 33.5 which is minus 21.5 now i do uh, this all uh, for all the value of x so i have already fixed this cell uh, because if you are not fixed the cell uh, the value will be different okay so you have to fix the mean that is x bar now just drag this formula and you will get x minus x bar for all the uh, this mid value right now now uh, i have to find the square of x minus x bar that is uh, in the next column i want to find x minus x bar square power 2 okay so what we do here uh, we can do uh, two things first we multiply this value by the same value we get a square or we use the power function that is p o w e r power and uh, i select the number minus 21.5 comma uh, to the power 2 which is multiply uh, minus 21.5 two times right so I just press enter here. I will get four, uh, 462.25. Okay. Now just drag this formula. Uh, now just drag this formula. You will get a square of all the x minus x bar. Okay. You will get a square of all the x minus x bar of column G. Now, uh, what we have to do, we have to multiply this x minus x bar by F. That is column B, corresponding value of column B. So what we do, we multiply column B value we multiply column p value which is the frequency column by the column h value which is the x minus x bar value so i write here i write here f uh, multiplied by uh, x minus x bar x minus x bar to the power x minus x bar to the power two to the power two okay so i multiply here now i write here uh, frequency column uh, b2 cell is two multiplied by x minus x bar multiplied by x minus x bar which is 462.25 okay and just press enter now what we do i just drag this formula till the cell i13 so i will get f into x minus x bar for x minus x bar square for all the uh, frequency now for all the frequency i will get this value now I just find the sum of this value because in numerator you can see that we have to find submission of this value. So I find submission of all these values. So I am using the sum function here, sum, and I select I put the cursor on the cell I2, select the cell I2, press control shift and down arrow key for whole selection and just press enter. So you will get 881. Okay. So I have told you that uh, when you take square of this term, you will get the variance. This is a standard deviation formula. When you take a square of this term, you will get variance. So first I find variance. So uh, I write equals to. So in case of variance, here it is sigma square. And on the right hand side, there is no square root. And we get only this formula. So summation of fi xi minus x bar whole square, which is the total of column i14. So I select the column i14 divided by capital N. So capital N is nothing but the total of all frequency. Capital is nothing but the total of all frequency, which is the total of column B, which is 80. So I just divide uh, the cell I14, which is F minus X bar whole square submission or total divided by total of all frequency, which is capital N. And uh, I just press enter. So I will get variance here 110.15. Now to find the standard deviation, what I do, I just find a square root. I just find a square root. So I use the function SQRT. I just find the square root of this variance and uh, just press enter. So uh, the standard deviation for the term, I select the number format for that up to two digits. So I will find the standard deviation as 10.50 
uh, and this is the uh, video for us and you know uh, if you like our video uh, please share this uh, uh, video with your friends also thank you